Hi Scorpio, it's Sahara Stars with the Lim Astrology and Tarot doing your person of interest reading. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Thank you for joining me and my magical teddy bear Romeo. Um, please keep in mind these are general. They may or may not resonate with all of you. Check out your rising or your moon sign should I get to that one as well. And also for a personal reading, you can text me at 818-839-1116. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on with Scorpio's person of interest. Do you mind? Giving some good juju. All right. Tell me about the overview card for Scorpio and their person of interest. All right, so some of you are wanting communication to start something new or to, you want to communicate to put something on solid ground or to start new and a more solid grounding or wanting communication about a commitment, take it how it resonates because it's going to be different for all of you. But regarding this situation, so the connection ended, okay, some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, or this is you, where the connection ended, and it was a very important connection, or very, some of you, this is a long-term relationship, some of you, this is a marriage, some of you, this is your soulmate, Some of you, it's a Gemini. It's like the person wasn't putting the work in or they're, they're not putting the work in yet <laughs> regarding this connection because I got two of those in the reverse. You want them to put the work in or to make the effort or they weren't doing it in this connection. Take it how it resonates with your situation. I'm getting the feeling they want to make it right, but they're not sure how, how to make whatever happen here right. Because I do have the Magician card here, which is they want to do whatever it takes to make it right. And they have what it takes to make it right. But somebody here is very sad and feeling regret. What happens here? Somebody was extremely disappointed and let down, and it looks like it caused some great heartache here. This was a very painful, emotional letdown regarding this person. And it looks like this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Some of you, it's a water sign. But it was heartache and heart pain or betrayal in some way. Yeah, it So there's something here that was secretive that was the heartache and the heart pain. Something that you didn't know that came to your awareness, regardless of how it did, or this person was keeping secrets from you or did something that you were unaware of that caused this heartache. 
and I feel like they're unsure or indecisive about how or what efforts they can make to make it better because I see them in both opportunities like not doing the work or not taking the effort, not knowing how to make up for this. Because this is a massive emotional disappointment going on here regarding a secret or something that was hidden from you. Something that came to your awareness somehow. And I feel like the person is in denial or blocking you off or not, not letting you through in some way. So this is something you've been really, really holding on to, okay? And it's been very difficult to let go of whatever betrayal or disappointment this was. Whatever secret or betrayal this was, you've had great difficulty in letting go of it. So they haven't quite made the apology or the offer or communication with you. It's in the reverse, which means they want to or they're trying to, but they just haven't yet. What do they want to say? Yeah, some of you, it's definitely another water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. They like walked away from you or you did them. We got the death card. So it's definitely ended. But it's like, it was sad for them to do this. Or that could be betrayed you, emotionally betrayed you. And now I feel like you guys are really, really confused or they're emotionally confused or you're confused. I feel like they're confused and they don't know exactly how to fix this situation because clearly here it was something that was extremely emotionally hurtful, betrayal, and some sort of secret. And you haven't been able to let go of it. Some of you could be with this person like this could be a long-term marriage or long-term relationship. Some of you, this was somebody that you were involved with and this happened. And it's just like, I feel like this person is there, there want to, why are they not? They want to fix whatever happened and blew this up, okay? Because there was some, there was a moment where it was like, that just broke down and I'm feeling like, because it's coming in with this, it broke down some security, safety, trust issues going on here. And for some of you, we got the emperor. So this is a person in power, a boss, a very strong personality, or we got the air sign in the reverse, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. It's going to be different for all of you. Maybe they're a combination. I also got Scorpio, the death card there. There was some sort of emotional betrayal secret lie heartache backstab something that happened here that blew up whatever could have been clearly and i'm feeling like with the queen of pentacles it could be a taurus virgo capricorn like i said but i feel like it blew up the stability or the trust as well 
and they're not making the effort to emotionally express themselves. Now remember, we have water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Arising, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the Emperor, and also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So for a lot of you, it's going to be a different person. But they don't know how, they're trying to figure out a way to fix it. So this is what I'm getting from them. They do want to fix it. But this is like coming up with, this is like manifestation or the, the, the guy that can come up with very creative ways to do something to fix this broken down thing this blown up thing regarding this exposed secret that was hidden that caused a lot of pain and I feel like they've been defensive when you when you've tried to talk about it or if you haven't they've just been kind of like not dealing with it it's different for all of you so take it how it resonates your situation so what is going to happen ultimately So the Four of Cups is about wanting wanting that one. So I feel like they have great regret for what they've done. And you're the one that they really want and love. But they feel stuck in their head about how to fix this situation because whatever it was, it was pretty extreme. And it was hidden or a secret that broke somebody's trust here. And then for some of you, this person is just being defensive because they they want to fix whatever blew up. They want to, they know it, it, it blew something up and they're trying to think of the best possible way, but they haven't done it yet. But it looks like they're going to be getting control of this and either traveling to you or communicating with you. They want to fix this situation with you. This is the success card, the going through, the, 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 the taking all the negatives and making them positive. Like however it's going to be, it's in order to get this back to where it is. And it looks like somebody's having a very difficult time letting go of it. So it's going to take a little work on this person's behalf. What kind of oracle cards do we have regarding this connection and situation? That one doesn't count because I didn't shuffle right. <laughs> there is an opportunity to regenerate and mend this connection coming up here. Okay, it doesn't mean you have to. It doesn't mean... You know, but this is an opportunity to reunite, mend it, and start over. And it's followed by the message in the bottle, which is a long-awaited message. Communication you could be waiting for. However, this situation applies to your situation. Remember, you're all involved in different situations with different people, so <clears throat> the interpretations could be a little bit different. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best, as always. Until next time.